Hey everybody, this is Barry Johnson. Welcome back to another edition of Studio Talk. Today's going to be a quick tip on helping you out there who are having troubles getting your plugins to all uh, authorize properly in Logic Pro when you're using Apple Silicon and OSX Monterey. So let's take a quick look. Let's pop over to my screen here for a second and let's see what it is um, I've got going on for right now. And so um, over here, let's let's go down to the screen here for a second. Let's get over there. I'm doing multiple screens, a little bit of a pain sometimes. So let's go about this Mac and let's see what we're doing now. As you can see here, uh, this is my version of um, um, Mac OS Monterey. Now, I am a brave fool, and I do this mainly to help a lot of you people out there. And plus, I'm just a curious by nature. So I'm in the beta program. So that means I get all the beta ones as they release. And I'm on 12.3, which is the most recent version of beta. I think 12.2 is the last official release of OS X Monterey. Monterey has been a problem. I will not lie. It has been a problem um, for the audio world and it's specifically plugins. When I first started on the M1 MacBook Air, I didn't have very many problems to be honest with you. Everything seemed to work just great under Rosetta for the most part uh, under Big Sur. But Monterey came along and that did, uh, did change a few things up. So there's a couple things out there when you're trying to get things uh, certified. For the most part, the majority of my plugins today work perfectly fine uh, on Monterey and Apple Silicon, uh, on, either under Rosetta or through M1 certified. So now we can see what version of, of Monterey I've got. So what you want to do, this is this it's it's counterintuitive and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you want to go up here to Logic uh, and then go into your preferences. Um, and then scoot on over to Plugin Manager. Now, most of you, if you're using Logic, you should be familiar with this already. If you're not, this is basically where you want to go check. If you're having problems with plugins working or not working, this is the first place you want to check. You want to make sure over here you can see where the, all these uh, boxes are checked successfully validated. And you just scroll down through there. These are, you know, I got a boatload of plugins. Um, and when you get into this compality issue right here, you can notice these are all logic standard plugins. So kind of ignore those for a moment. But now you can get through here and you can see all of these plugins um, that I have as I keep scrolling through. I got a lot of plugins. Uh, I got some videos out, out there on getting too many plugins. I should have watched them uh, early on before I got myself into this. Uh, so anyway, you can see I've got Waves. They're all working. Of course, they're M1 certified. And I say Waves, you can see the manufacturer here on the screen. Um, I've got Tune Track, uh, Superior Drummer, um, uh, as well as uh, Easy Bass and things like that. I've got... Now, Stephen Slate uh, plugins are not M1 certified, and I was having lots of problems getting those to properly work in various DAWs, but today, and this, and they are one of the ones that I had a problem with. So the bottom line, what you want to do is if you come here and you find some of these, because if this didn't pass validation, it will tell you that it didn't pass validation, which is probably what you're looking at. So what you want to do is you want to check all the boxes and tell it to rescan your plugins again, okay? So now all of my boxes are checked. So I'm going to tell it to go ahead and uh, re rescan um, re selection, and it's going to go through that. Now that take, may take a second or two to kind of go back through and scan all those plugins. Um, but, um, well, it, it's giving me the result because it actually it, I didn't have any failed things. So let's let's do a full reset. And let's go through that and let's see what we end up with. Now, because all of these are certified, they all got reset, they all worked great. But what you'll find is if you tell it to search over and over again, you may have to do it two or three times. But once you kind of reset and rescan, they'll eventually click in and they'll all work for you. Uh, I, As of this date, I've not had any problems with any of mine. Like I said before, the ones that I own, um, of course, you know, and, and, and Terrace, uh, however you pronounce that, with um, Auto-Tune, things like that. Then you get into um, Isotope, all of theirs work, the uh, Elocesis, however you say that. I, I, I think I said Isotope already. Kilohertz, uh, Liquid Sonics, which is part of Slate, McDSP, I've got all of their plugins. Native Instruments, most of that is going to be Contact. Um, uh, I think I have Contact 13. All of that's working great so far. Also working great in Pro Tools. 
And uh, oh, I just got Plugin Alliance. I have all of their plugins. Uh, Slate Digital, I have all of their plugins. SoftTube, I have all of their plugins. Um, and Waves. Uh, so there you go. So uh, I, I wish I could show you the problem before, but all I can do is tell you and promise you that if you check the ones that are unchecked and then recheck them again and then tell it to rescan, for the most part, for me, they've all been working just great. So I hope this tip works for great for you. If you have any problems whatsoever getting this to work, please put some comments down below. Let me know. I'll investigate that to see what the deal with that is. Um, you know, because you may have some plugins that I don't own uh, that maybe are problematic. But all of these are so far, uh, Logic is up and running and works great. I've not had really any issues with it whatsoever. So... If you like the things I talk about on this channel, do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and then that notification bell so you know when I got a new video out. Until next time, hope every one of you have a all plug-in working day. Go out and make some music. Have a great day. Bye-bye.